Hey guys, so iOS 18 developer beta is finally here, which is also iOS 18 beta 1. And we have installed this beta version on our device. And if you also want to install this on your device, then you just have to follow this video that will be shown on the iCard on the top left or right. But if you have already installed developer beta, then this video is just for you because in this video, we're going to be talking about iOS 18 top 10 features. So on the first number, we have the redesigned home screen. So on our iPhone, if we just go to the home screen and here tap and hold, and now we can move our app icons anywhere. As before in iOS 17, that was not the case. But now in iOS 18, we can do that with complete ease. However, keep in mind that you still can't move it anywhere as you can only move the apps in the grid layout only. And now there are many customization options as well. If we just tap on edit here and now just tap on customize. And as you can see, first we can now change the app size from small to large. And as you can see, the app size has been increased. However, the apps won't show names when it is in the large layout. And at the bottom, you will see four options. Automatic, which means that it will automatically shift to dark and light depending on the time of the day. And after automatic, we have the dark option. And as you can see, the app icons have turned into the dark mode. And there's also this icon. If we just tap on it, and then our wallpaper is also gone into the dark mode, which is pretty cool. We can again go back to the light mode here. But this setting is only in the dark mode. Now if we go back to the light mode, as you can see, this icon has gone away. And then at the end, there's this amazing customization feature of tinted option. So you can move this slider to choose any of the accent color that you want for your app icons, which gives it a pretty minimal and monochromatic look. You can also choose the accent color with this eyedropper tool here. So just select any color from the wallpaper and here just change this slider. Then depending on the luminance, you can change this color as well. And in the tinted section as well, you can change the wallpaper from light to dark. Alright, on the second number, we have seen big changes in the control center as well. Now if we scroll from top right to the bottom, you can see the control center over here. Now if we just tap and hold, and now you can remove or add control center icons from here. So let's just remove this. And we can also resize the control center icons as well. However, these two icons can be resized, so you have to keep that in mind. And at the bottom, if we just tap on add a control, and here you can see lots of other different type of options as well that you can add in the control center. So let's just add few of them. Let's set background sounds. Then let's add scan code. And also you can move the app icons around as well, just like we did in the home screen. So that was it about the control center changes. But that's not it. You can now lock and hide your apps right from your home screen in your iPhone with iOS 18. So let's say I just want to lock this photos app. So I just have to tap and hold here. And then here at the bottom, I'll see this option of require face ID. Just tap on it. And then again, tap on require face ID. And then it will show you the prompt that which of the apps are having the photos access. And as you can see, see lot of the apps are having my photos access which I do not like so I'm just gonna tap on done and that way my photos app has been logged if I just tap on it and then it is shown that face ID is required to open photos and that way you can lock your apps but now the question comes that if you want to hide an app how to do that so let's just say I want to select this app geekben 6 that I want to hide so I'm just gonna tap on it and here I'll tap on require face ID and here I'll see two options require face ID and hide and require face ID so just tap on hide and require face ID it will ask for your face ID and then it will ask you for a prompt to hide the app just tap on it here and as you can see our geekben 6 app has been added but keep in mind that this hide feature app only works for third-party apps as the system apps can be logged but it cannot be hidden so now the app is hidden but let's just say you want to access the app again so just go to the app library and here scroll down till the end and here at the bottom you'll see this hidden icon so just tap on it it will ask for face id again and then it will show you your hidden app now just tap and hold here on the app and tap on don't require face id and that way you can now get back the app on your home screen that you have already hidden now apart from this you can now also change the shortcuts in the lock screen so let's see how to do that and here you can see we have two icons of flashlight and of camera so just tap and hold to edit and here tap on customize choose the lock screen and here you can delete these shortcuts and add your own shortcut that you want so let's just delete this flashlight one and then here you'll see the plus icon just tap on it and from here you can select any 
of the shortcut that you want right on your lock screen. So since I use dark mode a lot, so I'm just gonna select that. And that way, if you just tap on done, and as you can see, now our shortcut icon has been changed. And I can directly control it right from my lock screen. All right, on the fourth number, there are pretty cool messages features as well. And in the messages app, if I just select on any of the messages and here tap and hold, and then you can see this colorful emoji options of tap backs. And now we have this added icon of adding a different type of emoji, which was not there in the iOS 17. So just tap on it and here you can select any of the emoji that you want. So let me select this brain one and it is added here. Now apart from this, if we tap on the plus icon and we scroll down, here you can see this option of send later which is basically a scheduled message option. If I just tap on it, and now here I can select my time and date to schedule my messages that I want to send later to someone. So let's just write a message, happy birthday, and select the time for tomorrow 7 a.m. And now just tap on send. And the message is sent, and I can also edit the timing here. Now in the messages section, let's say I want to write a text. This is crazy. And as you can see in my keyboard layout on the right, here's this option. So just tap on it. And now you can see this brand new text effects as well in the messages app. And you can select any of them. Not just that, I can select partial text as well and add effects on them. I can also make it bold, italic and underline them or maybe a strike through and just send. So having said this, now let's talk about the calculator app as we've got a brand new math notes feature in the calculator app. So right now we are in the calculator app. And if we just tap on this calculator icon here, here you'll see a few of the options, basic, scientific, and this cool feature, math notes, and at the end, convert, where you can convert the currencies easily in the calculator app. But now our main focus is math notes feature. So just tap on it here, and here at the bottom, just tap on this icon. So now let me just type something mathematical here. And as you can see, the moment I typed something, it already gave me an answer. That is 25 into 32 is equal to 800. And that way you can do this in the Notes app on your iPad as well with the Apple Pencil. Now talking about Notes app, here's this cool feature of live audio notes that you can record directly in the Notes app. So in the Notes app, just create a new note and here tap on done. And now tap on this icon. Here you'll see this option of record audio. So let's just record an audio here. Hey guys, today I am shooting a video about iOS 18 developer beta and I am pretty ecstatic to see how many features came in iOS 18. And once I have recorded something, just tap on done and the recording has been saved here. And now if I want to see the full transcription, I am just gonna tap on it here and then just tap on this icon. And that way, you can see what you have said in the text form. Now apart from this, there is a feature that I think lots of people were waiting for and that is the T9 dialing is finally here in the iPhone. So if I just go to the phone app and you can see all of the contacts are shown to me. But as you can see, I added my name here in the number form and it has shown my contact. Now talking about calls and the phone app, finally, we're also gonna be seeing that you can now record phone calls in your iPhone. Yes, that's right. However, the feature is not yet in the developer beta, but it will come soon. But whenever you record someone call, there will be a prompt to them that their call is being recorded. So you have to use this feature wisely. All right, now talking about the photos app, we also got a complete redesign over there. So if I go to the photos app and here you can see, here are all of my photos and if I just scroll down, here you can see recent days and people and pets and here you can also see pin collections which I can modify as well. Then there are memories and there's a trip section as well but currently I don't have any trips available so it's grayed out. Then at the bottom, we have shared albums, albums, featured photos and all of the media types is hidden here. And notice that we are also shown wallpaper suggestions as well from our photos. And if we tap on customize, we can customize all of our collections right from here and add our custom collections as well. And from the library section, just tap on months to see the photos in the monthly order and tap on years to see them in the yearly order. And tap on this cross icon to go back to your photos. Alright, so these were the major changes in iOS 18 this time, but now let's talk about some minor but important changes. So if we go to the settings app here and scroll down all the way, here you'll see this apps option. And here you can see all of our system and third party apps right in one folder of apps. And now we don't have to scroll down frantically to search for an app as this makes our life a lot easier. And now let's just say if we go to any of this section here and there are new headings as well, which talks about what this section is about. And now if we tap on our Apple ID and if we go to the iCloud section, you can see that iCloud's UI has also been changed and it looks pretty cool, right? Now at the end, let's talk about some little but cool animations. So if you have a phone which has a dynamic island and from the control center, if you just toggle on the flashlight 
option here you can see this cool animation and now here's the amazing part now if you scroll down from here you can change the intensity of the flashlight as well but if you do it sideways you can converge and diverge of the flashlight as well now the next animation is pretty subtle but it's amazing now if i just tap this volume button here you can see this cool little animation that's going right when I tap on these buttons. Now apart from this, if at the home screen you have any type of widget and if you just tap and hold here, you'll see these icons where you can choose the different style of widgets right from the home screen. But not just that, let's say if you want to make this widget in the app, just tap on this icon here and as you can see, our widget has changed into the music app. Now aside from this, there's a new password apps as well and if I just tap on it, here you can see all of your passwords, pass keys, Wi-Fi passwords and all of the codes. Now you can also use the autofill section in the settings, but this passwords app makes it more convenient and streamlined. But having said that, these were the top features that I found right now in iOS 18, but don't worry, there will be lots of features which we'll figure out later and we'll definitely make a video on that. Now on this note, do let me know in the comment section that which one is your favorite iOS 18 feature. And if you've reached it, definitely don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel that is iGeeks Blog. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video with more amazing iOS 18 features and changes.